Welcome to episode four of our podcast series. Last time, we saw someone who looked a whole lot like you move into one of those huts. They sure have had to build a lot of those huts. You said they built over a thousand huts here at Valley Forge for 12,000 people to move into. Wow, that's like a whole log city. In fact, Valley Forge was the fourth or fifth largest city in the entire United States at that time. Wow, I wonder what that would have looked like. Can you imagine? We only have a few reconstructed huts here today. Well, we don't have to imagine. Ready? Ready. Special, Special effects! effects. a small part of the encampment. So, I wonder what those guys did all day. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Eat. Eat. Cook. Greet important visitors. Build fortifications. Eat. Attend to official army business. Drill. Collect water. Forage for wood. Forage for wood. Collect water. Write letters. Write letters. I don't know how to write. Write letters. Write lots of letters. All day. What is going on here? That was the same guy from the last episode. I know he looks familiar. And now there's someone that looks like you. Really? I don't see a resemblance. At all. And besides, I can write. Right. Anyway, who's that guy at headquarters? General Washington is very busy. All the other aides are out. I'm Lieutenant Colonel John Lawrence of his staff. Can I be of service to you? The sergeant has given us a little break from the drilling. Who am I? My name is Corporal William Armstrong of the 3rd Pennsylvania Brigade. Can I help you? I'm busy all day. Who am I? I'm Ann McIntyre. I'm a camp follower here to support my husband. The men are all out right now. What do you need? What am I doing now? Writing letters for a change. Dispatches, orders. Thank you. The correspondence never seems to end. Right now I'm writing a letter to my father, Henry Lawrence, the President of Continental Congress. It's a very important letter, I believe. An idea that could possibly save the revolution. What's that? What am I doing? I'm writing a letter to my mother. She worries about me. She wants to know if I'm in danger, if I'm getting enough to eat. She wants to know how my clothes are holding up and whether I'm staying warm enough here. I'm here with my husband. We're both serving the cause as best as we can. There's so much my family back home would like to know about. But I don't know how to write. So much I wish I could tell them. I wonder if I could find someone to write for me. January 14th, 1778 from headquarters at Valley Forge. I barely hinted to you, my dearest father, my desire to augment the Continental forces from an untried source. The raising of a black battalion would advance those who are unjustly deprived of the rights of mankind and reinforce the defenders of liberty with a number of gallant soldiers. Mother, we were in a truly forlorn condition, in absolute danger of perishing in spite of being in the midst of a plentiful country. We had but little to eat for days together. We are defending our injured country and are willing, nay, are determined to persevere as long as such hardships do not become intolerable. When I find someone to write for me, I will tell them of my husband's bravery and that of his regiment and of all the hardships that the men are enduring here at Valley Forge. I will tell them of how I miss them and how much I long to be reunited with them. But for now, there is much work to be done before the soldiers return. Mending, laundry, cooking. Yes, Sergeant? I'll be right there. I'll get to this later. See, it never ends. On behalf of PICO and Valley Forge, we hope you enjoyed your PICO podcast journey through history.